there is this very common deception amongst Christians that we cannot question our faith. We can't test God. We cannot question God. With most things that Satan deceives us with, there's a little bit of truth. For example, it says in Acts chapter 5 that we should not test God. And if you remember Ananias and Sapphira in Acts chapter 5, they lied to the Holy Spirit. And because they tested the Holy Spirit, the hand of God destroyed them. They both died. We should not test God in sin and continue sinning. But we should repent and live in righteousness. Now we should test the spirits to see if they are of God or of another spirit. And this is what is written in 1 John chapter 4. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits whether they are of God. Because many false prophets have gone out into the world. It is not wrong to test what you have been taught growing up. Most of us have been lied to and we have been duped by the deceit that is in the churches and their teaching of the Bible. Many of us have been lied to and we have been told, you cannot question if you're really saved or not because if you said the prayer, you can't question God, you're saved. And if you believe that you're not saved, that would be salvation by works gospel. And people get so confused that they are not even going to Jesus anymore to ask the Lord Jesus if they're right in his eyes. Salvation comes from abiding in Jesus. The way you abide in Jesus. Your connection to the living God is through prayer. It's when you pray and ask the Lord Jesus about anything, and then he responds and he speaks to you. He manifests himself to you when he speaks to your spirit through the Holy Spirit. That connection with the Lord Jesus is life. You don't have life if you are not connected to Jesus. And many Christians are not connected to Jesus, but they will say, I cannot, I cannot question God. I cannot question if I'm saved because I know I am. That is the biggest lie you can believe. The biggest lie you can believe is that you are certain you're saved even though you have never heard this from the lips of the living God. Do you want to be in a relationship with Jesus, where you are daily abiding in Him? Or do you just want to be deceived by man? May the grace of Jesus be with you.